All right, good morning, YouTube. Oh, well, they postponed the Daytona 500 till tomorrow. It's NASCAR. I mean, you know, I don't know of any year I've ever watched a race season that one twenty of the races get postponed because of the weather and today is no different. Florida is getting hit with a big storm and so it's been postponed. But I promised my men, my husband and our two boys, that I was going to do fried ravioli. And later on today, we're still going to do that Costco chicken bake for supper. But that's later. Right now, I need to get some snacks made for us so we can watch our murder channel. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I'm almost, I'm not quite, but I'm almost turning into my dad. My dad would get into shows like Matlock or um, Murder, She Wrote. Law and shows Order. like that. Law and, well, he wasn't so big a Law and Order person. I remember him watching here. Um, he watched his cowboy shows, but he definitely watched Matlock, and he definitely watched Perry Mason. Oh, yes. And Murder, She Wrote. But, so, we watch the ID channel, which is nothing I miss more than watching Perry Mason a yeah. bunch of um, murder mysteries. Yeah. After a while, Perry Mason got a little bit boring. Well, see, I grew up on all that stuff, so he liked the old shows like I do. So, anywho, <laughs> I got this recipe off of Paula Dean's website. And she was doing these around Super Bowl time. And like I said, we were going to do these for the Daytona 500. But um, since it's postponed, we'll be having supper tomorrow night when the 500 is running. That's okay. And we're going to have these, though, today for a snack. For Sunday fun day. Yeah, you know, for something to just relax. And as you notice, we haven't changed out of our jammies yep. today it's just that kind of a day yep my oil is nice and hot here and i'm gonna set this lid over here for right now because i need to bring my basket up and get it ready for this in here i have egg one egg and a quarter cup of milk and in here I have just some seasoned breadcrumbs and some grated, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to take these that have been soaking in the egg wash. And I know on Paula's page she says to do them one at a time and everything. I Well, we're in hers bigger. No, not really. But we have a whole bag of raviolis here to fry. And as much as I like to cook, I don't want to be in the kitchen all morning just frying up ravioli. So we're doing a whole bunch at one time. And we're just going to toss them in here. Get them all nice and coated up here. And it's just store-bought ravioli, right? It's just store-bought ravioli. You can find these in the little freezer areas where ice cream and pasta and all that is. And nothing special on them. Just, just a simple coating, actually, of egg and breadcrumbs. Never had these, so you've had them? I've had fried ravioli. I've not made them. 
but I, so you just dip them in marinara yeah Is that, okay yeah and we've got our marinara on the stove over here heating up and that i'm gonna top with a little bit of more parmesan cheese because well you can never have too much right. cheese now is this something you could do in the air fryer you could probably do these in, like we're supposed to be yeah. <laughs> you only live once <laughs> we, we went we may through, not live long <laughs> we went through that phase what a couple of years ago or whatever where we were looking up certain recipes and it's not knocking that you still don't probably have a health condition or whatever i'm sure I do. but this one doctor at the hospital kind of gave you a little bit of a uh, scare the one day when you went and um made it sound like you were dying tomorrow well i'm probably sure that it's bad but insurances being what they are um they don't want to pay for anything so <clears throat> i need my lid over here so i'm just going to do these in batches and i'm going to lower this first batch down in and how long does it go for roughly um Two minutes per side, so probably four minutes and something like this. Okay. But this has a light on it to indicate when they'll be ready to lift up. Okay. But they're going to get nice and golden brown. Mm. <laughs> and we'll have these to snack on with some nice... Three or four cheese, I can't remember what it is, marinara sauce that I got. These are three, three cheese raviolis, mm. so, but come on back. We're going to get the rest of these breaded and coated and fried, and we're going to snack on this. All right. Some of these have already come out. I don't know. My breading is not sticking on there, but... Probably would have done better if you'd have dredged them in flour first. Maybe. Like you do when you do fried chicken or anything. But still, these are looking pretty good. And our marinara sauce is all nice and warmed up. I'm going to put that in a nice serving bowl. Uh -huh. And um, grate some parmesan on it. I'm going to put these last ones in, fry them up, come on back. So the last batch is done. And I'm going to let my basket cool before I put it in the sink to be washed. And we're going to let these sit and cool a little bit because biting into these is an enjoyable treat. But not when they're scorching hot in the middle. Right. Yeah. So. These are going to cool. Come on back. We're going to plate these with some marinara sauce. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. So we got our ravioli and our marinara sauce. And they're all fried and everything. And I'm going to let you go first. Yep, 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 yep. Mmm. That is good. I like the crunch on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. A nice cheesy filling. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, paired with the Parmesan that I had in with the breadcrumbs. Mm-hmm. The cheese that's supposedly in the sauce, because it's a three or four cheese sauce. Mm-hmm. And then I grate Parmesan. We love our cheese here at this house. Mm -hmm. So, these are really good. And like I said, I found these on Paula Dean's website. So, give them a try. Very simple, quick, easy. 
I'm sure there's an air fryer way to do this, but you only love once. Yeah. So get out there, enjoy life for Dan, the boys and I have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.